thoughts. Hopefully, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win. The good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. Fender Bender. Fender Bender. It's a funny. It's a funny little phrase. Is it? Is it really that funny? It's not really that funny, but. Uh, I don't know. Why do we call it? I mean, I, I get why they... Why does it sound like this shit is echoing? Echo. Echo. Can you hear that? Um, I mean, I get why, like, back in the uh, the early days of automobiles... Uh, I don't know why I said it like that, but... You know, I get why it was considered a fender bender back then, because, you know, the cars were made of fucking steel. And... Um, you know, if you did hit something, it, it would in fact uh, cause a little bend in your fender. But um, nowadays, I mean, you know, they're pra- what are they made out of now? Like fucking, uh, I don't know, like bee spit. What the fuck are cars made out of now? They just they just crumble now. Crumble or crumple? Well, they do both. I don't know. I, why am I so mad at fucking fender bender? I don't know. Because uh, we as human beings, we have these little fucking uh, turns of phrases or soliloquies. I don't know what a soliloquy is. But, you know, we have all these weird fucking sayings that I just, I don't understand. You know, I mean, surely if somebody gets into an accident now, it's not a fender bender. It's more like a fucking... uh, I don't know, a uh, fender fucking splitter? I don't know. You know, you, you come up with the right terminology, but um, where did this come from? I, was, I don't know. I was watching some, uh, what is it, Allstate commercial? And I had this kid that, uh, you know, I don't know. He was telling his parents, and he's like, oh, I got into this little fender bender in the, the drive-thru or some shit. I don't know. I think I think what bugs me is people that fucking refer to accidents as fender benders. A dude, I got into a fucking fender bender in the parking lot. Can you believe that shit? You know, it just it doesn't sound right. You know, I mean, it might sound all right coming from a from a girl or a woman or a female. I don't want to fucking enrage the Me Too movement. Um. But, you know, a, a dude that fucking says fender bender, I got into a fender bender. Fender bender. That sounds like uh, something you do in prison, like, uh, you know, in reference to uh, some sort of, uh, you know, anal uh, intrusion or some shit. I don't know, did I just invent a new, um, new word for uh, butt sex? I think I did. Um, anyway, fucking, uh, it's cold as fuck here in, um, sunny California. You know, I've been away from fucking, uh, Boston too long, because, I mean, I wore a fucking scarf today. What the fuck is the purpose of a scarf to, uh, I don't know, keep my fucking Adam's apple warm? Uh, What's the fucking point? You know, although I will say that I, uh... I do look, or I did look very uh, dapper in my uh, gray and black, uh, what is it, what do they call this shit? Is it flannel? I don't know. You know, the fucking design is usually on flannel shirts. Uh, you know, I definitely can can uh, rock, I can definitely rock a, uh, rock. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable using that using that uh that, that phrase. I don't know. I can fucking wear a scarf and not look like a total fucking douche. I guess is is what I'm coming uh or what I'm trying to um say. Um, any fucking way. This is the effing podcast. For those of you that um, I don't know. I say the same shit every time. Um, you know, at this point, I mean, the only acceptable reason for not knowing what podcast or acceptable reasons for not knowing what podcast you happen to be listening to is either a you're blind um and somehow just i don't know you hit the wrong fucking uh button although that's not even really an excuse because i mean if you have uh you know if you're blind i assume that that uh 
they have Braille on keyboards, right? So, you know, even then, you're like, ah, I don't know. Do, do you really not know what you're fucking listening to? Or are you just, are you pretend, are you one of those people? Are you a fucking hipster that's like, ah, I don't know. I don't know the fuck I'm listening to. Is that what they pretend to do? Pretend? Pretend? I don't know. How about this, uh, this fucking, uh, the shit with the, uh, with the school shooting? And, uh... The fucking discussion, uh, you know, or I guess, um, I guess companies are starting to drop their, uh, their associations with the NRA, um, which I don't know. I don't completely fucking, I don't buy, I don't buy into that because, you know, they could publicly say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're fucking done with the NRA. But then, you know, on the download, they'd be like, yeah, you know, let's put that little, you know, a couple of million in my pocket. I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll We'll keep it quiet. You know, I just, I don't trust it. But <clears throat> what I am kind of sick of is all of the, uh, all of the goddamn discussion that's going on. And I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not sick of the discussion. I'm just sick of people. I don't think anybody really has a desire to solve this fucking problem because you would think that after all of these fucking school shootings and mass shootings, uh, especially when children are, vo are involved, you would think that maybe, I don't know, there would be some compromise. You know, me, myself, I'm not one of those, uh, you know, ban all guns or whatever, because that's just fucking silly. You know, I'm, I, you know, I, I 100% agree that you should be allowed to uh, own a weapon. I just feel like maybe they should make it a little little more difficult for you to fucking obtain, you know, I don't think that that's unreasonable. I mean, I'm saying, you know, you can own them. You just have to prove you're not a fucking nut job. And if you have any history of nut jobbery, uh, you know, you don't get to own one. I mean, if, you know, if you're a, what is it? Domestic abuser, you know, you beat the shit out of your wife or, or husband, you know, you probably shouldn't, be allowed to own something that could take their fucking life away in a heartbeat. You know, and this is why I'm convinced that that people aren't really interested in solving the problem because the answers are very fucking simple. You know, but what but what ends up happening is you have the two far fucking spectrums that uh that, that speak the loudest, right? You have the uh what what you would definitely call gun nuts on uh, on the right and you have the uh uh the fucking snowflake liberals and i you know what i mean i mean it's not like snow, it's not like snowflakes only exist on uh you know with liberals there's lots of fucking right wing fucking snowflakes out there so don't take it as like oh i'm one of those guys you know you have the the fucking nuts on the right and the the other fucking you know, spectrum of nuts on the, uh, on the left. Although I don't really, I wouldn't really qualify them as on the left at this point. Cause these are the same people that think, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton was fucking awesome. And, uh, you know, and for some reason, Bernie Sanders is, uh, is the bad guy, you know, for wanting to give you, uh, free healthcare and tuition free college. I, you know, I'll never understand that fucking logic, but you know, we're not talking about that right now. Um, <laughs> the problem is, is you have those two um, factions of uh, of this debate that you know that yell and scream the loudest. And meanwhile, anybody with the you know that that could be considered rational, uh, you know, and objective, you know, they get completely drowned out by all of the fucking bickering. I'm pretty sure that most gun owners agree. That's, I mean, they did like a, like a study or a poll or some shit, right? That like after uh, Sandy Hook, um, like 98% of the fucking country wanted some form of, you know, gun reform, you know, which means that most people think that, yeah, something should be fucking done. Now the question is, is what? I think that's where, where people, you know, sort of, uh, get off track, but, most people, especially when kids are fucking dying on a regular basis due to gun violence, most people want to do something about it, you know. 
But unfortunately, what gets advertised, right? You either have the people who are like, oh, take away all the guns and, and even the bad guys will will somehow, you know, fucking uh, agree to, turn, you know, that, that shit isn't going to happen, right? Calling on a ban on fucking weapons is silly, right? Because... I mean, although I don't buy into uh, into that argument that, you know, oh, the fucking bad guys are coming and I'm going to be fucking, uh, you know, John McClane or whatever. I, I use that reference uh, pretty often here on the on this podcast. Wasn't I in the middle of talking about what what this, po- you know, whatever, we're going to fucking keep it moving. Um, you know, I don't buy into the to the fucking boogeyman uh, scenario that a lot of um uh, you know, gun owners fucking put out there that, oh, you know, I mean, everybody acts as if they live in fucking Beirut. Okay. Yeah. There are some areas in this country, uh, that, you know, probably you would, you would think, you know, it'd be a good idea that if, if I had a gun, you know, I agree that these areas exist, but uh, you know, it's not like, like entire fucking states are, uh, fucking war zones. There's specific areas, and the reason that those areas are specific isn't because of the people that live there, because I know that there's somebody just fucking frothing at the chops to be like, oh, you mean the people who... No, I don't mean that. I mean, the what, what causes the fucking violence is the income inequality the 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 fucking class divide the fact that the you know the people can't even fucking make uh you know they can't even keep their heads above water you know while it's easy for somebody that that doesn't really have to worry about that sort of thing to make the statement well well if you just try hard if you just work harder or, you know you should strive to to be you know you, you've never obviously you've never been in a situation where it's like you know what my entire you know, I wake up to, to gun violence, you know, I fucking see rats and roaches and, you know, and, and, and just absolute fucking squalor in my neighborhood 24, seven, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You, you obviously have never grown. I mean, I've never grown up in that either, but I do understand that when you live in really fucked up, uh, in a really fucked up environment, your perspective becomes warped. You know, a, a simple fucking uh, example that's outside of this country is, uh, you know, look at the the uh, the the Middle East areas where, um, you know, there's suicide bombers and, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna say oh we're well, Muslim areas. I mean, because obviously the suicide bombers, the people, you know, the terrorists and shit, you know, they're they're fucking extremists. But you also have to take a look at the areas that they come from where it is war torn and there's bombs going off constantly and you and there's just constant death and, you know, struggle and people dying of fucking starvation. I mean, you know, those types of things tend to fucking wear on you. You know, another example would be the uh, the U.S. <clears throat> soldier that has, you know, done his tour uh, been a part of war <clears throat> and comes home with PTSD and fucking snaps if, uh, you know, somebody bangs a cupboard, a cupboard, a cupboard, cupboard, I don't know, whatever, you know, bangs a fucking door too loud. I mean, this, this fucking insistence that, oh, it's, it's because, uh, you know, uh, particular people have a, a hue to their skin. Oh, that's why they're so got, you know, no, it's not. It's because they live in, fu- I mean, not all of them, obviously, you know, I don't want to be one of those guys that just fucking throws everybody into the fucking, uh, into the pot. It's just in those particular areas where these things happen. And it's not just people of color. It's white people as well. It's, it's Asians. It's, you know, everybody has, uh, you know, some skin in the game when it comes to that. The areas that they live in have usually been the hardest hit economically. The school system is shit. The, uh, the, the police, uh, force is basically, basically acts like prison guards. You know, 
there's I mean, the same reason that the soldier comes home with PTSD is the same reason people that live in those types of environments are quick to fucking snap and shoot and kill and do whatever to, you know, because they feel like all they're doing is trying to survive. How did I get on to this shit? I don't I don't fucking know. I mean, it's just, you know, if you live in those areas, I get it why you might want to have a fucking gun. But if you live out in fucking suburbia where the where the, uh, you know, the possibility of somebody fucking, you know, performing a home invasion is very fucking slim. I mean, we're talking, you know, lightning would strike your house probably a few times before that ever fucking happened. You know, the, the boogeyman that you're so fucking afraid of, it just doesn't exist. You know, I don't even know how I fucking got to this. You know, basically what I'm saying is uh, I don't think banning guns is the fucking answer. But doing fucking absolutely nothing is also not the fucking answer. Giving teachers guns and asking them to basically become the school fucking soldiers also not the fucking answer. Especially since most gun deaths happen because the gun that the person owned or was wielding, uh, you know, uh, was either accidentally fucking fired off and, and, and hit or killed somebody, or the gun was taken away by the fucking intruder and used on them. So it, it's not a good idea, you know, unless you're planning to... Uh, you know, get rid of all teachers and just put a bunch of fucking soldiers as teachers in there. Unless you're planning to fully militarize our school system, that's a fucking stupid idea. The answer is some degree of reform. And it definitely should be a lot harder than it currently is to gain possession of a firearm. It, it it absolutely should. And I think that anybody that, that is a, uh, you know, a gun owner that's at least fucking rational understands that these things are not fucking toys. You know, I'm pretty sure we all uh, we all understand why, you know, you shouldn't be allowed to fucking, uh, you know, drink alcohol before a certain fucking age. We all agree that you, you shouldn't consume alcohol and get into a car because that would, you know, could be a fucking problem. Now, what does that have to do with, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing shit out there. I'm fucking swinging a dead cat and I'm throwing it and, and hoping it fucking sticks somewhere. I just, I, what I'm getting at is I think everybody agrees that there needs to be some degree of precaution handing out these things that were designed to kill. You know, and what, what, I mean, I got into a little uh, dispute with, uh, with a guy on Twitter and I had, uh, I broke my fucking rule of not responding to people, but it, it drives me up the fucking wall when you have, I mean, the, the kids have been killed and, and you have some fucking dipshits that are like, oh, well, you know, fucking, you know, don't be such a fucking snowflake. Everybody should have, you know, they just make those stupid fucking statements, you know. So I ended up breaking my fucking rule, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's not like I've fully returned to, to arguing with people. I, you know, it's just, you know, I'm allowed a, a fucking, uh, you know, I'm allowed mistakes, you fucking cunts. But, um... Uh, you know, I got into this little argument and I was just like, you know, like, I don't expect, I don't want to ban guns, but I think when it comes to, you know, fucking handguns and, uh, semi-automatic fucking rifles, the, the rules should at least be as, as, uh, as difficult as it is to become a hunter. Now, I don't know the rules in every single, uh, state in the union. But I do know that, that here in fucking uh, sunny California, where it's, you know, cold as fuck, um, it is very difficult to be to to get your hunting license. 
it's it's very fucking difficult. You got to pass a bunch of tests. You know, you have to take like uh, I don't know. I think it's like 70 hours or some shit of, you know, of training or some shit. I mean, it's very fucking difficult to get a hunting license to hunt fucking deer and squirrel. Meanwhile, to get a fucking uh, uh, Glock, all you have to do is fucking pass a, a, you know, a 30 to 45 question fucking multiple choice quiz in the gun store. And pa- and not be uh, you know and not have uh, a fucking felony on your record, you know, and or if not have been uh, you know diagnosed with uh, with some form of severe fucking mental illness. But see, where like let's just take the mental illness thing, right? There are lots of people, and I think I said this on the you know last podcast that I put out there, but there are lots of people that one hundred percent buy into the stigma of mental illness that as in you don't want to tell anybody about it you know you're not gonna go see a fucking doctor and you feel like i you know i'll just power through it i'll just you know i don't know maybe i maybe i've got a fucking uh the allergies or some shit right it's the same as people that that think because they're super fucking uh clean that you know somehow they have fucking uh, ocd it's 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 in the same ballpark right there's a huge stigma with being diagnosed with any any form of mental illness in this country so a lot of people don't bother to go see a fucking psychiatrist or psychologist a lot of them don't so do so running that fucking that background check and if it you know and it comes back oh there's no you know he's never been or he or she's never been diagnosed with anything well she must you know be a he or she must be a sound fucking uh mind and body that's bullshit it's absolute horse shit. You know, so it's, so basically, as long as you get most of the fucking questions right on the, the multiple choice uh, quiz and have managed to fly under the fucking radar, somebody, you could easily get a fucking gun. You know, and there's so many like, you know, like the, I don't know what fuck it's, is it, uh, is it in North Carolina or Virginia or some shit? Where, you know, if you, if there's some sort of fucking, uh, I don't know, like something happens to their fucking system or some shit that it just, it just automatically fucking just says, ah, yeah, yeah, you're good. You know, it just, it it should be a lot fucking harder. And I think that most reasonable, rational fucking gun owners agree that the current system is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you know, having some gun reform and and having tests and evaluations. Yeah, it's not going to stop every fucking shooter from going out, from losing their shit and, and doing some horrible shit. But it will stop some. And as far as I'm concerned, saving one life is fucking worth it. And I think that most rational and reasonable gun owners agree. That nobody's life is fucking expendable. And that's the problem with with uh, with the group, you know, with the gun group, uh, you know, that's on the far fucking right that, you know, that, that has the loudest fucking microphone. A lot of them sound like, well, you know, as, uh, I'm willing to sacrifice a few lives here and there, whether they're adults or children, just so I can keep my fucking gun. You know, unfortunately, that's the the voice you hear uh you know on that side of the fucking uh side of the spectrum and unfortunately on the other side you have the people that are you know let's just round up all the fucking guns and you don't need it and no you know this uh, you can find another way to fucking uh deal with your little dick or whatever you know the the stupid fucking insults that they throw around on their side Let me give, uh, let me just, uh, explain to, um, to, to some, to some of you, I'm sure that there's somebody out there right now that's like, well, why the fuck does anybody need going up? I understand but what you have to understand when talking to somebody who is a gun owner and especially the ones that have the sort of extreme perspective of, you know, I should be able to own whatever I fucking want. 
All right, what's going on there isn't because, oh, they have tiny dicks or aren't fuckable or or whatever. The problem there is just like in any fucking other situation. They are looking at the world through their own fucking head. And they're saying, well, you know what? I'm a responsible gun owner. I would never do that shit. So I shouldn't be punished. You know, and, and that would be the equivalent of me saying, well, you know, my favorite food is uh, sisig, right? For those of you that aren't Filipino, uh, sisig is uh, uh, pig ears, uh, stomach, and a few other areas uh, of the, the, the pig uh, anatomy that, you know, are chopped up into little pieces and fried uh, until they're crispy. It's, it's fucking delicious. It sounds disgusting, but it's fucking delicious. You know, that would be like, well, you know what? I love seasick. So therefore everybody will love seasick, you know, just completely ignoring the fact that maybe there's somebody out there that's allergic to fucking pork or somebody that, you know, might not like it or, or somebody that likes it so much that it gets weird. You know, it just, you know, it, that's, the, that's what you're dealing with when you're talking, you know, and, and it can go the other way as well. You know, for those of you that, that own guns and, and end up in conversations with, uh, with people that want to ban guns altogether, they're looking at the world through their own head and in, you know, and in, in their fucking existence, it's because, you know, they're like, well, you know what? I don't feel that fucking frightened. I don't, you know, I don't understand why you need fucking guns and whatever happened to just having a fucking fist fight. You know, it, it, you just have to keep in mind that you are talking to people that do what everybody else, uh, you know, in this country, this, uh, you know, on this fucking planet is guilty of doing. And it's looking through, looking at things through their own fucking filters. You know, the problem is, is that, you know, a lot of people don't seem to acknowledge this. And, you know, just like in any other fucking type of group, uh, you know, dynamic, you know, the same thought process will attract people or, you know, a, a particular thought process will attract others who share that same thought process and give the illusion that everybody on that side views things the same fucking way. When in reality, it's a small fucking, uh, you know, uh, percentage that just happens to speak the loudest, you know, like uh, a perfect example, right? I, I, I see this a lot um, when somebody that's, uh, you know, on the right, you know, when they're talking about um, the, the fucking social justice warriors, the ones that want, you know, fucking safe spaces and, and uh, want everything to be politically correct, right? Because they ordinarily are considered on the left, you'll hear people on the right call these people progressive or the progressive left or whatever, right? But the problem is, is those people are not progressives. Those people are fucking liberals, crazy fucking liberals. Progressives, on the other hand, we don't give a shit about political correctness. We don't, you know, we think that fucking safe spaces and all that shit is fucking absurd. You know, uh, we're, we're, you know, 100% for, you know, the freedom of speech, you know, yeah, maybe what you have to say isn't something that we fucking care to hear, but we're not going to tell you that you can't speak at a fucking school because we don't like what you're talking, you know, go ahead, say what you fucking want, because we acknowledge that, you know, just because somebody says something doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to convert everybody. And that's the fear, <clears throat> that's the fear that, that liberals have, of, you know, of the Milo, Yaya, I don't know how to fucking say his last name, Yiannopoulos, Yiannopoulos or whatever, and the fucking Ben Shapiro's or whatever, you know, the, the something Spencer, you know, their, their fear is that, oh, if we allow this on our campus, that, uh, you know, they're going to fucking brainwash everybody into adopting their, their, uh, you know, their crazy fucking views. No, the only people that are going to come to see them and be influenced by 
what they have to say are people that already fucking feel that way. That's all it is. You know, so we as progressives, we understand that shit, right? We understand, you know, like you're not going to take somebody that, that their entire life they've been fighting for, you know, equality and, 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 uh, whatever. You're not going to take somebody that their entire life that has been, uh, de- you know, devoted to that and then start spewing some white supremacy bullshit. And they're just gonna be like, you know what? My entire fucking paradigm has been incorrect. And I think fucking white supremacy is the, is the way to go. That's not going to fucking happen. So progressives, we understand that, which is why we don't give a shit if these people come and, and speak and spew their bullshit because, you know, who, who, who gives a shit? But they, you know, but the people on the right, they constantly confuse liberals with progressives. Constantly. And I, I, it drives me up the fucking wall because you know what? I'm, I don't need a fucking safe space. I don't need fucking uh, political. I fucking hate political correctness. I, fu- I cannot fucking stand it. And I don't give a shit what fucking Milo or Ben or fucking uh, Sean Spicer or Spencer, whatever the fuck is. I don't give a shit what they have to say about anything. Because in my, in my opinion, they're fucking retarded. But do I think that they shouldn't be able to say what they want? No, nah, I don't give a fuck. Because nothing they have to say is going to affect me in any, any shape or form. You know, it's the liberals that want to ban fucking guns, at least the crazy liberals. I don't want to throw everybody that's a liberal under the fucking bus here, right? The crazy fucking liberals are the ones that want the safe spaces and to ban the fucking guns and, you know, and and pretend that we're living in a fucking utopia. Right. These are the same people that think that that the only reason or, or the, you know, yeah, that the only reason that we have fucking Trump as president is because, you know, everybody turned fucking racist. These are the same people to think that that, that, the, you know, that the United States went from being an absolute fucking paradise to absolute fucking hell, uh, you know, January 20th. These people are fucking out of their mind. They're not fucking progressives. They're not even on the left. You know, I don't. I, why? Why was I? Fu- I don't know why I was fucking talking about that. You know, then I start off talking about fucking fender benders. Fender benders. You know, speaking of which, why? Why is? Why is Richard shortened to Dick? Can somebody please explain this shit to me? And while you're at it, why is uh, I don't know, William Bill? There's not even a fucking B. At least in Richard, you know, I mean, there's not a fucking uh, K, but, you know, I guess if you put the H and the fucking C together, you know, you can make a K. But there's no fucking B in, in William. So how does somebody that's this named William be, you know, how do they end up being called Bill? And yeah, I guess I could look it up on fucking Google, but then what would I talk about on this fucking podcast? I don't know. I think I've, uh, I think I've said enough. Um, you know, this podcast could go on for fucking hours and hours and, you know, I, I'm, I'm smart enough to know when it's time to just, uh, you know, check out. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, my apologies for not giving you guys a podcast uh, or another podcast, um, earlier in the week, but you know, shit has been fucking busy. My kids have been home. It's not exactly, you know, I, I've said this shit before. And if you are a new uh, listener, you know, the reason that I don't fucking do podcasts when my kids are home is because there's no fucking way I would be able to get through a podcast without it being interrupted like at least 77 fucking times. So, you know, I don't do it when they're home. But today they are out for a little bit. So I fucking gave you one. So yeah, you, know, you know, just, just be, just be fucking thankful. Just, uh, you know, everybody turn into fucking tiny Tim and, uh, you know, God bless us each and every one of us or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I hope you had a good week, uh, thus far. It's the fucking weekend. It's Friday. So, you know, if you're still at work, you only got a few more hours. So yeah, you can fucking tough it out. But anyway, um, 
I will go back to my regular schedule next week. So, uh, you know, be be on the lookout for uh, for whatever it is that I have to fucking say next time. All right. Take it easy. Don't take any shit and go fuck yourself. Peace.